Good morning, stamping friends. It's Angie here with Too Cool Stamping, and we are here live with another class. It's Thursday, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, and we do this every week. I uh, am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I love to show two cool projects and how to create them, and that's what we're doing today. So actually we're gonna, apart from that, just a little tiny bit, we're just gonna do one project, but I am gonna show you lots of different projects. I just, um, many of them are using retired products, with, which generally I don't like to show because I want you to be able to buy what you see. But I do, um, this time of year, after I get done with my entire craft fair season, I have a lot of leftovers. And so I hold what I call a Too Cool Stamping Boutique and that's all my leftovers and they're all available for purchase either online or at my local studio here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So I'm gonna show you some of those projects as well and how, let you know how many I have left of everything. So if you're interested, maybe you are running out of time to make some of your own stocking stuffers, you need a quick gift. Um, definitely I have some things that will help you out I also am gonna do a project, which is one of the craft fair items that I had for this season. And I'm gonna show you, I actually, I used, used a lot of retired products, like I said, but I'm gonna show you how to make it with an updated current version so you can get all of the supplies uh, right now if you want to. So um, before we get started with that today, first of all, I see there's several of you that have popped on. So welcome. I'm so glad that you're spending some time with us today. I know that it's a busy time of year, so I really appreciate you taking the time. So I wanted to also let you know about a special that I have going on. I know many of you took um, participated with the free shipping special that was just the one day only for yesterday. So if you did, you got a good deal for that, especially because I was also offering my three-day special, which is 16% off. 16% off your entire order. It doesn't matter. There's no minimum. Um, there's no maximum. I just am giving 16% off for three days only. And why 16% do you ask? Well, it's because I am doing it in honor of my 16th stamp anniversary. It's my 16th year of being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I am enjoying every minute of it. 2003, I cannot believe that it's been that long, but I've had so much fun and now I actually do it as a full-time career. So it has really, um, it's been a, an awesome adventure and I love that many of you who are watching right now have been a part of it and so I thank you for that. So yes, an honor to celebrate, in honor of that awesome milestone, 16% off, and that lasts through Friday, December 13th of uh, 2019, just to put a year on that, just in case you're watching this at a different time. So you can go to twocoolstamping.com and click on the Shop Now link. That'll get you to my online store. And the way it works is, of course, this is exclusive to me, so you, whatever you're purchasing online, you're not gonna see that 16% discount there. But uh, whatever you do order, I will be mailing out a rebate check on Monday and, um, and that'll just be a check that I send to you directly and that will be for the 16% amount. So if you're familiar with Menards, it's kind of like that, only faster. So, <laughs> so I'll be sending those checks out on Monday. I know many of you placed an order yesterday and you can um, count on that check in the mail on Monday for your rebate. I know that'll be a, a nice little um, little extra spending money that you can have this time of year. So thank you so much for all of those who have already ordered and you have until tomorrow, December 13th, to place those orders to get that 16% off through me at Too Cool Stamping. All right, oh, I also forgot to tell you, in order to get the discount, you need to use the host code, but you only wanna use the host code if you have an order of $149 or less. Once you hit that $150 mark, you're gonna earn Stampin' Rewards, and I want you to have those, and I want you to be able to enjoy those extra reward dollars on additional products for your own order. So if you hit $150 with your workshop, or with your uh, online order, then I want you to not use the host code. I will just automatically send you that check. If your order is below $150, please use the host code. That will ensure that I know 
who is wanting what incentive because I have a couple different incentives going on and so depending I have my monthly gift which you are welcome to also use and that's for a simply chamois and that host code is on my website twocoolstamping.com so if you want the simply chamois instead of 16% off I don't know why you would but <laughs> um, you can check that host code out there for the 16% off I need you to use the host code are you ready I'll say it two times it's a four digit code and it's Z J three T Q H J Y. And I'll also, when I flip the camera around, you'll be able to see that as well. So Z J three T Q H J Y. So that's the host code to use to get that 16% off. And you're not gonna wanna miss that. So place your order before tomorrow at 11:59 p.m. and um, and that's going to be local time for me, so Eastern time. So um, hope to see a lot of orders come in. I'm trying to reach a really big goal this month that I've never hit before, and I'm just um, not too far away from that. So I'm hoping some of these orders are going to help me with that. And I appreciate any help that I can get to get to that goal because that's kind of exciting when you reach a little bit new heights. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna flip the camera down. Let's see who's here. I see Janelle, Priscilla's here, Kim is here, and Linda, good morning. I said some more people here, but I can't see everybody for some reason, but thank you so much for joining me. We're gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna start with one of the projects and then I'll show you some of my craft for items for this year. All right, hold on everybody. All right, and there's that host code if you didn't get a chance to write that down, ZJ3TQHJY. And you just go to twocoolstamping.com and hit the shop now link. All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to make one of my craft fair projects. And I've made this project many times in different ways but it, it was one of my most popular items. In fact, I only have three left and I made a gazillion. And they were so super cute. And it's just a little cocoa packet. It has some Land O'Lakes Classic Cocoa in the Chocolate Supreme flavor. And then a little peppermint stick that's dipped in chocolate. And it just makes a really fun gift for a coworker or uh, I like to go out with some of my friends that I've known for a long time during the holiday season. We don't see each other very much, but we make a point of getting together during the holidays and I like to bring something like this for them just a little gift to let them know that I give you know I care about them so we're gonna make this today and it's so super easy to make now I made this with the snowman season and this one this bundle is still available with the snowman punch and that is super super cute and I also used the Let It Snow paper, which is no longer available. That has sold out for this season, so you're not able to get that. So today for our project, I'm gonna try a different, a whole different look and some different paper, but I did wanna show you how, um, you know, some of the project products that we used for this one. We used the Curly Ribbon, that's still available. These little Sparkle Glimmer um, snowflakes are from the Frosted Frames. Uh, and these dies are part of that feels like frost bundle the frosted foliage stamps go with that But this little die right here has two different sizes of snowflakes and that's what you get for these two So that works really well with the snow, but um, let's go. Oh, and let me <clears throat> excuse me I also use the classic label punch down here and just cut off one end so it only had one little pointy end and then for the sentiment I used a little uh, itty bitty Christmas sentiment. This is a must have. If you've not gotten this set yet, this is a one you definitely want to have. It has all kinds of really cute sentiments for Christmas that will fit in all kinds of shapes, circle shapes and long shapes. It fits in a, a lot of the punches and framelits that we have. So this is definitely a must have on your list. Um, all right, hey, I also, have you checked out the year-end closeout list, the all the retired items? 
You might want to do that. There's some things that are starting to sell out and you definitely want to make sure you get your favorites before they're gone. You'll also be able to see the carryover list and see what items are carrying over for either the next, uh, up until the next annual catalog or they might there are just a handful that are going into what I like to call hibernation until next holiday season. So definitely check that out at my website. Okay, so with this time we're gonna use the Perfectly Plaid bundle just to have a different look. And the Perfectly Plaid or wrapped in plaid uh, paper is still available. So I wanted to make sure that we were using something that you could still get if you needed to. All right, so this is just a regular half sheet of cardstock like we would use for a traditional card. So it's eight and a half by five and a half. We scored it a, like a regular card at the four and a quarter mark. So I'm gonna use my paper trimmer and I'm gonna take that score mark and I'm gonna line that up at, doesn't really need to go flush at the top, but I'm gonna line it up at the one inch mark. The hardest part of this is getting this little diagonal slit or diagonal notch out of this sheet. So I'm gonna show you how to do that easily. So we're gonna line that score mark up with the one, and we're also going to line up the point down here, make sure you can see that, the point down here at the one inch mark as well. So one right here with the score line, and one right here at the point. And then we can just chop that little edge off. And that way if you're making a bunch of them, if you just, if you just have a few that you're making, you could make it any any diagonal that you wanted to. But if you were making a bunch and you wanted to be consistent, that's the easiest way that I've found to do that. All right. So this is just gonna fold in half and that's gonna be our base. I have a little piece here of the perfectly, of the wrapped in plaid designer series paper, the six by six stack of paper. I love this paper so, so very much. And this is a four by one and a half piece of paper. And I cannot believe it, but I have no snail right here. I've totally forgot to bring my snail over here, but that's okay, we'll use some Tombow. A lot of people like to use the liquid multi-purpose Tombow glue, and it actually works really, really well for just basic adhering. I can't believe I don't have one snail within reach. That is crazy for me. All right, well, so we're just kind of decorate this little bottom piece right here. Then I've already cut out using the layering circles die. I've cut out a little circle with cherry cobbler and then also the shaded spruce to match that wrapped in plaid paper. And we'll go ahead and add that. You don't need much of that glue. That's the thing that's really nice about it and it holds so, so very well. All right. Now, before we put that on there, the thing I liked about this one is it has some cute little snowflakes and it kind of fills in that little gap up there and it gives it some sparkle, obviously. So in this one, when I was thinking about, I'm gonna be using the perfectly plaid set and we're gonna have a little tree in there, but I needed something that was gonna kind of fill in this space and maybe add a little bit of sparkle. So I used the Sprig Punch. Let's turn that up, upside down here so you can see. I used the Sprig Punch and I used the gold glimmer paper and just punched a few of those little sprigs. So I'm gonna just put some of those on the back and I think what I'm gonna do is, let's see since I don't have my snail with me and not even a tear and tape or anything. What the heck, I'm not prepared today. I'm just gonna stick it on there with the dimensional where I want it. Let's see, I want one to go up here and then I want two to come kind of out here. So maybe one right here. This is when we're making do because it's live TV. Not really TV, but Okay, and then I want another one maybe right here. So we'll flip that over and stick that on. Now we just need a few more dimensionals and maybe one in the center. 
See, I can make it work. I don't need all the tools. Whoops. All right. There we go. That adds a lot of sparkle and fills up, up that space really nicely. So there's our background. We also want to make that little tree with the perfectly plaid. So I'm gonna use a paper piercing mat here underneath because these are photopolymer, so I'm gonna to want to have a little bit of cushion underneath. And I'm gonna stamp first. If you've seen some of my other projects this season, you've seen me stamp with this set. And there's a little trick that you'll want to do. So if you stamp first with the tree, and I'm using the realistic tree, I love that evergreen. So pretty. The detail on that is just beautiful. I think it's one of those distinctive stamps that really shows a lot of detail. Then we're gonna punch that, before we put the trunk on there, we're gonna punch that out so we know exactly where to put that trunk. Otherwise, you might put it on there and it might be a little bit off and it doesn't fit inside the punch. So here's our little trunk. We're gonna use soft suede. And that one is just gonna, you can see right through there so you know exactly where to put it and it's perfect alignment. Now, because we have another project coming up and I have this all out, I'm gonna do another one really quickly. We'll save some time. We're gonna have exactly the same focal point on two different projects. And we'll add that little trunk and then we'll be all set for our next project as well. And we'll set that aside. Okay, now we're just gonna add that tree. And we'll need some more dimensionals for that. And just add that, so cute. All right, now we just need to close this up. And the way I do that is with just a standard office hole punch, a quarter inch wide. I'm just gonna punch right there on the corner so that we have a little place to put some ribbon. And I'm gonna use the coordinated shaded spruce and gold ribbon that goes with this suite. Just tie that in a knot and then tie it in a little bow. And we'll trim off the edges. All right, and then what I actually should have done before I did that was close this up. Now, I have, I'll tell you a little tip here because I've had some issues with this in the past. A lot of times I would just use tear and tape uh, on the bottom here to keep that closed. But what I found is because of the packets being as bulky as they are, even the tear and tape is gonna kind of pull away and so it opens up. So what I've found is just a little bit of that Tombow glue again, just a little tiny bead right along the inside. So you don't need much. See how much is in there? Not very much. And then we'll just close that up. Have some leaking out there. And we'll hold that in place to make sure that it's dry. But that's gonna give it a nice secure hold a little bit more than the tear and tape. I don't know why the tear and tape sometimes doesn't hold, but I have found that to be a problem. There's nothing more disheartening is than going to a craft fair and having all your beautiful cocoa pouches ready to go and by the time you go to set them out on your table they're all starting to come apart <laughs> so it was a little lesson that i learned okay and then i just like i said we have some land lakes cocoa i just bought this online um can't really remember but 
I, I liked it because it kind of is a little bit classier than when you just get a box of Swiss Miss or something. It doesn't really have a very pretty package. So I just looked specifically for the package that was a little bit fancier. And then I also purchased these peppermint sticks online. Again, I can't remember what they were called, but they're dipped in chocolate. And if you just search for those, um, I'm pretty sure that you can find them easily. Now you can stick that in there. One thing I found out about those is sometimes they're gonna fall out and you don't want that to happen. So I'm just gonna add a little glue dot to that just to keep it in place. So I'm just gonna pick that up and stick that underneath it. You gotta be careful because a lot of times I like to, whatever I'm putting the glue dot on, I'll stick it directly on my glue dot sheet. But when you do it with the peppermint stick, you tend to break it. So you don't wanna do that either. So another little quick tip. And then we're gonna finish up, of course, with a little bit of sparkle. Don't wanna miss that. So I'm gonna use those holiday rhinestones that have all the pretty colors that look beautiful with all of the holiday sets. Let's put that all on our little tree here. Some blue lights. Do you guys like blue lights for Christmas? I actually have blue lights outside my house. Blue and white, because we love blue here. So there we go. There is a cute little perfectly plaid and wrapped in plaid cocoa packet. And if you have the snowman season, along with the let it snow, or really you could you could use the same, um, the wrapped in plaid, you could use that with the snowman. That would work really lovely too. So there's two different ways that you could do those. Really cute and really fun little gifts right at the last minute for the holidays. All right, now I wanted to show you one more project and I kind of forgot that, does anyone remember the cookie cutter Christmas? stamp set. I love that stamp set. And for some reason I thought it was still in the catalog and it wasn't. So I had it all planned that I was going to show you a project with that cookie cutter suite. And then it's not available. <laughs> so I am going to show you the projects that I made with it. So these are the projects that I had for my craft fair and they were all from the cookie cutter suite. I, it's one of those stamp sets that I'm not gonna get rid of for quite a while because it is so super cute. But again, it is retired, so please don't ask, where can I get that? Because I don't know and I don't have any extra and I don't know of anybody who has any extra. I just wanted to show you what my craft fair items look like, so bear with me. What I want to do also is just show you how to make this basic um, little holder. It's for a Ghirardelli chocolate peppermint bark, which is the most awesome flavor of Ghirardelli chocolate, in my opinion. And I wish it was around all year long and not just the holidays, but I love it. Anyway, I wanna show you how to make the holder because it really doesn't matter what you put on the front, you can put whatever you like. So I'm gonna make a little uh, version to match the project that we just made. So I'm gonna start with the Cherry Cobbler cardstock. It's six and a half by two. And again, we're gonna use the paper trimmer just to do a little bit of scoring. So let me move these out of the way real quick. So we have six and a half by two. We're going to score at the three and an eighth inch mark. And then also the three and three eighths mark. So this is gonna give us the little gusset at the bottom the depth that we need for that candy. Next, we're going to use our delightful tag topper punch, and we'll stick that in there. So this has to be two inches wide because it's the width that you can put inside of this tag topper punch. So we'll do one end and then the other. So that gives us our base. Then you can decorate it however you like. And it's so, these are so fast to make if you need some really cute stocking stuffers, obviously, but also you can use it as a gift tag. 
You can just turn it over and write your to and from on the back and put this on the top of a package. Wouldn't that be cute? Along with a little bow. You could also use it as kind of a table setting favor. So maybe on, you know, on your dinner plate or next to your dinner plate for your holiday table, it's gonna dress it up a little bit and be a cute little favor. And because it's that yummy peppermint bark, it'll be a nice little sweet treat at the end of the meal. So I'm gonna use some of the wrapped in plaid again. And it's the, uh, let's see, it's one and three quarter by two and a quarter. And we're gonna use our Tombow again. Let me find my Tombow. I threw it in the bucket. All right. So just a little bit of that. To decorate the background. And then I've already punched out a one and three quarter inch circle from the gold glimmer paper. And we'll just add that with some dimensionals. So you can see how these are really quickly going to come together. Not very many parts. And then we already did our tree. So I'm gonna add that with dimensionals as well. we need to add a few little rhinestones here this time I think I'm gonna use the red oops at all my little pieces that I have cut so the red's gonna look perfect with this one just about three is all you need and that looks fantastic then we're gonna wrap this up with some of the striped ribbon. This is also in the current holiday catalog. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this in half. I think this is the way I did it that worked the best. I fold it in half. I'm gonna come in from the back and then make that tail go through that loop. That makes a nice little tie right in the front here and I was gonna tie it up with a little bit you can see on these I tied with a little bit of striped ribbon all of this is retired that I had left over that I just keep for my craft fair projects but I'm thinking I don't even know if I need a little tie on there I think that looks really nice so let's just trim it, trim it off and be good to go all right what do you think of that so cute let's put our Ghirardelli chocolate in there see how it looks there we go see how cute that is I love it so you can see some of my other ones here just to give you some ideas but you could do this with the snowman you could do this with just about anything that you have on hand as far as Christmas so that's really fun and easy to make and I'll be putting this on my blog too so you have all the measurements again all right, everybody, that is our projects for today. Now I wanted to show you um, some of the products that I have, projects that I have left over from my craft fair and give you some numbers of what I have left over so that you can, if you want to order, you just need to contact me and let me know. Um, just uh, private message me or if you have my email, you can email me and let me know what you're interested in. I'll let you know if it's still available. So as far as Let's see, these little peppermint bark candies. I have 17 of the gingerbread. I have 16 of the Santa. And I have 12 of the reindeer. Those were the most popular. And if you want, I can make additional. So if, you, if there's any of these things that you like and maybe I don't have as much as you need, uh, let me know and I might be able to uh, you might be able to order additional quantities It's all going to depend on how much you need and the timing and that type of thing how much time I have available for that, but that is always a possibility so um, the cocoa packets that I talked about I only have three of these left So just three again. I can make it some additional of those if you're interested 
some of the other things that I have, since we're on the perfectly plaid bundle, I have my little pizza boxes, and these have the Reese's peanut butter cups on the inside, nine of those. And I'll be listing all of these um, along with their prices on my uh, on the description of this video as well. So, oh, and these are, let's see, I have 27 of these left. Um, let's see, my most popular item is every year <laughs> are these little coffee cups. And I did this with some retiring paper, some retired paper, I should say and the cup of cheer, Christmas cheer uh, stamp set, some retired ribbon that I had to buy a ton of because I loved it. But it also has some candies inside that are real flavored coffee candies, really, really yummy. And so those are available. I have 23 of those and I have a couple of different styles. One says comfort and joy, one says sending you a cup of cheer and there's some different uh, patterns of paper too. All right. Next, I have, these were also really popular, my Kit Kat boxes, and you just pull this out. The Kit Kat's in a little cello bag, so it holds that really cutely, and then, is that a word, cutely? And um, again, it's using that Let It Snow paper, the stylish scroll uh, embossing folder, and then a lot of other retired items that we have. This little tag right here is the nested label, stitch nested label die, that little tiny one, so cute. You can write somebody's name on it. But this pulls out. You can also take this top off, get inside of the bag, and you can use, um, you can put a little gift, gift card in the back if you want to. So it can kind of have a dual purpose as a gift card holder. So that was really popular simply because it was a gift card holder. And I have, let's see, I have 19 of these left. And these are something that I can probably make some extras of as well. Okay. In um, some earlier videos, I showed you how to make the cute little triangle boxes. And these have kisses in them. And the ones I made before in our video, I think used the Magnolia Lane paper. But these are so super cute. I love that snowman theme this year. I did a lot in that. So we have several of these. And I have them either in Coastal Cabana or Real Red. We have, let's see. <laughs> I have 12 of the red. And then I had five left of the Coastal Cabana. So I don't know if I have very much paper to do any that are identical to this. So I don't know if I can do extra, but I do have several on hand if you want those. Okay. The really pretty twall paper I used on the old retired sweet cups. And also this, I know people are gonna ask me, how did you make this beautiful poinsettia? And it's with the old retired poinsettia punch. And I do not have it, I don't know where you can get it. But I did wanna show you that I have some of these left. They have the Lindor chocolates inside and some candy Hershey's Kisses. And I have it in both Cherry Cobbler and the Garden Green, and these have been really cute as a little gift for coworkers and neighbors and that type of thing. I have 14 of those left, seven of each color. Okay, these are a couple of, um, I've had some, I made a couple years ago, I made a ton of these, so I'm still having just a few of these left. I love them, those cute little penguins. Um, snow Way, It's Christmas Already, and Let It Snow, Time to Chill. They're just a little scratch pad, little notepad, that's also magnetic, so you can hang it up and have a like a little list next to your desk or, or in your kitchen or that type of thing. So those are super cute. And then I also have just, a, uh, I think, oh, let me tell you the quantity on that. <sighs> Did I write it down? I think I have 17 of those. Um, and then I have just a few of the candy bar pulls. This is one of my, also another popular item. You just pull the ribbon and the candy bar comes out. I only have three more of these left, um, but I can make additional in a different, with a different look, with different paper and um, still using the, the penguin. So let me know if you need to order any of those. And I think that's it. That's all we have. That's all I have left. Not really that much 
sold out of a lot of things this year. And again, I'll put that complete list of items from my craft fair boutique, what's available, and I'll try to keep that updated on a daily basis so you can see what's really left. If you do want to purchase some of those, um, the shipping is gonna be actual shipping. So I'll have to see how much you wanna buy and I'll try to use a priority mail uh, packaging so that we can come up with a price that's going to be easy to calculate. All right, everybody, that's all for today. Thanks for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed seeing some of these different projects that I had for craft fair. And maybe you'll try making the cocoa pouch or the little Ghirardelli um, tag. I think you'd love making those for some last minute stocking stuffers. All right, have a great, great week. And I will talk to you next week. This is Angie with Too Cool Stamping. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye.